Hi, this is Laura Turner, and today I'm going to talk with you about some steps for copywriting music. Technically, after you have recorded your music, it is already copyrighted because you have recorded it. Um, so really from the moment that you get out of the studio and you have your recording and you burn it onto your CD, um, that CD and that recording is yours. But of course this might not be enough for you, um, especially if you're getting popular in the area and you're thinking that somebody might want to steal your stuff. Um, so the next step to really securing a complete copyright is to, is to take this recording and to actually send it to the Library of Congress Copyright Office. And then they'll take it and you'll have um, a real legal copyright on it. Now you can either send the copy of the recording or you can send a copy of the sheet music to them so that they can take that and put that in their inventory. Um, or if you want to double up on it, you can do both, whatever works for you. Um, but technically, once you have recorded your music or written it, it is yours. And as long as you have um, a proof of the date um, that you copyrighted it or the date that you recorded it or that, you know, that it is the recording, um, you could also you know, mail it to yourself, do the poor man's copyright, and actually um, you know, seal an envelope, mail it back to yourself with the recording and the sheet music in it, so you can use that to prove that it's copyrighted in court. And then, of course, finally, the best way to copyright music, and probably um, the most lucrative, is to actually just get you know, signed to a record label, and then you're going to be copyrighted with that label. So, good luck with copywriting your music.